this is one thing that kind of bummed me out. When they went back to, when they went to this, the M processor, the silicon chips, this was kind of a big bummer for me because they started out with their own chips. Remember they, back in the day, they had their Apple chips, or it was a power PC, or what the hell was that thing? I forget what it was called. And then they flipped to Intel. And they flipped to Intel, the whole world of Apple blew up because then all of a sudden it was like, whoa, we can run some crazy stuff on here now because of the, it's running the Intel processing. That meant, especially from me, I loved being able to run Windows VMs natively on my Mac. So therefore I could have three or four VMs running as servers and stuff and have them all communicate together. I could build a little mini lab running right on my laptop. That was awesome. I mean, that was huge. So now when they, as soon as they flipped to the M1, which I have, I got one of the M1s, all of a sudden that's gone. No more, so that's huge. They don't want to talk about that part. They're just going to talk about all these cool enhancements that I've yet to be able to take advantage of. Actually, I'm going to show you something awesome here. You know, let me unplug this thing here. Okay, here, this is my main, my main computer, right? This is the MacBook Pro M1, fully maxed out. Um, I was at DEF CON, and my laptop fell off the couch from about here to here onto a carpeted padded floor and then onto my suitcase like this while I was sleeping. I promise I was sober. Anyway, check this cool feature out. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh yeah, there it is. Check that out. Yeah, that's my monitor not working at all. This screen is toast. No matter what I do, it just doesn't want to work anymore. From a very tiny, oh, oh look at that. We're almost, yeah, awesome. This is, I want to smash this thing over a rock. Now, I also have, check this out, hold on. This one, I still have this. I've actually rebuilt this thing twice. I've replaced the screen and the motherboard by swapping out parts and the, because I really wanted a new battery in here. And this one is the one with the touch bar, the one everyone likes to complain about, but this was the last high-end Intel processing one. And this one, way better. A couple things. First, let's get rid of this. We do like a side-by-side which is super important for those that travel a lot. It may not look like much, but the thickness of this one is way thicker and heavier. And what's really stupid are these nubs on here. And I get it, it's for ventilation, but how often is this thing sitting on a laptop? Sometimes you want it literally on your lap, right? So then it won't matter. So what happens is this just takes up way more space. It's way thicker. It's like this one's, look at this. Look how thin and sleek and nice this is. So much nicer. The touch bar, I actually liked the touch bar because a lot of times this thing actually gives me stuff that's useful. Non-existent now, that's fine. I can live without it. It's really not make or break for me. The keyboard though, this keyboard is way better than this one. This one's a little bit irritating. Sound is definitely better here than this one, but I really don't care about sound because I'm gonna be wearing headphones when I work anyway. So do I want a bigger, heavier, chunkier laptop to do the exact same stuff? Actually, this one can do more. These things are completely synced up too, by the way. So, because obviously this, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, came back, hey, there we go. So, because I can't use this one anymore because the screen's jacked and I gotta get it fixed, I have these things completely synced up. So this one's just hooked up here. This is the one I take with me whenever I wanna go anywhere, but it's, all my stuff is lined up. So this can do everything this can do, but this can't do everything this can do. Does that make sense? <laughs> so yeah, so now, I guess, Apple just released this thing just with a different little chip inside. whoop de freaking do I don't think it's worth the money at all. I'm definitely not gonna upgrade. I still gotta get this thing fixed. I just don't want to because I have to go talk to the Apple geniuses. That's also annoying. I really don't like it when people refer to themselves being smart when they're actually morons. Like if you ever have to deal with these people, like I, if my mom had to go in there, yes, they're super geniuses. But if you know anything about computers, they're frustrating because they think they know stuff and they don't. What they're going to do is be like, oh, hey, you know what? I have a problem with one piece on here. Oh, well, we're just gonna swap out the whole thing, back up your hard drive because we're probably just gonna swap that out too because we don't have the time for it. And I get it, because the cost to repair that one piece is a lot more than just replacing the whole thing and just charging you for the new part and moving on. But it's annoying and you have to make appointments and all this crap. I'd rather go to a third party person. So whenever I get my MacBooks fixed or repaired, if I'm not doing it myself, then there's a guy down the street that I go to that he's got the whole cool lab and the clean room and rips it all apart and puts it together. So um, I don't buy the Apple Care. I expect their products just to work. If they don't work, I just won't buy their products anymore. So Apple, zero innovation. I'm not happy at all.